Today I'm at Taco Bell to try their new grilled cheese nacho fries. I've had loaded nacho fries, I've had nacho fries, I've had grilled cheese burritos, I've never had anything that's a grilled cheese nacho fries. Let's dig in, let's give it a shot, let's get my fork out here, this is a, this is a fork operation. Um, shameless plug, I also have a tech channel that I'm desperately trying to get to, a thousand subscribers, it's Poppy Tech. If you're at all interested in seeing me talk about random tech gadgets and things that I get and unbox and demo and review and such, check it out. Link in the description, comments, there's the logo. Please, thank you. Anyone who's already done that, I appreciate you. Um, let's see if I appreciate these fries. So, if you've had the grilled cheese burrito, you know they do this like thing with the this paper and then they grill it when there's cheese, and I mean, it's not the most complex thing. Um, so that's what they've done here with the fries. So we'll peel that up, and <laughs> this actually looks kind of stupid. Uh, I've been excited for these all week, so I'm kind of hoping they're all right. And they can't be too bad. They're nacho fries covered in cheese. You can get them with beef or steak. I got steak. It's got our... You know, someone was chewing me out in the comments saying they love it when I don't do the thumbnail thing, but I gotta get something to put up as the thumbnail. I don't have to call it the stupid selfie thumbnail, that's just what I started saying and it kind of stuck. But the point is, I gotta take the fries and the drink and go, eh, and then, you know, that's what you clicked on. Somebody clicked on it. Oh. Let's try these. Again, here they are. One massive congealed grilled cheese. There's chipotle sauce, steak, 520 calories. See, I got the facts, I got the food, I got the fun. Some would say I got the face. I don't think so. I think I'm fat and ugly, but you may not, so. Anyways, let's get fatter and uglier with the nacho fries. Hmm. I mean, this is dumb. This is really dumb. This is hard to eat, but that, that's all to say, it's nacho fries covered in chipotle sauce, grilled cheese. There's bits of steak that I'm having trouble finding, but they're they're here. Um, it's actually really good. And obviously, I guess, right? Like, how is it not gonna be good? It's potatoes and cheese. You know, the Taco Bell formula is that if you know you like something there, you're gonna like everything else. So it's, they don't really shake the boat too hard there. Rock the boat, shake the tree. I don't, I don't know. There's some steak. Now, well, there's some more steak. I thought the lighting was good here, but when I actually want to hold stuff up, there's where the sun is hiding. So, I don't know. I would get this with beef. Um, it's cheaper, and I bet they spread the beef out more. I'm not getting steak with every bite. That's kind of sad. You can also get these in a spicy variety where they add jalapenos. Same stuff, just they put jalapenos on. Um, I don't know. I hate complaining about price on any of this stuff. I don't know what should cost what anymore. These are five bucks. Yeah, they got the little cheap ass pieces of steak in there. But it's really just fries covered in cheese. The profit margin on this has to be insane. So you don't go off in the comments about like inflation or crap like that. No. Everyone wants to blame something else. Everyone wants to blame everything else except these companies being the greediest they've ever been. Because they have shareholders to appease and growth goals. If they're not growing, then none of it matters. So how do they grow? You sell more 
or you jack the prices up, or both, and they're all doing it. And that's why you have $5 nacho fries from Taco Bell. $5 used to get you a whole meal here. And they actually brought back some $5 cravings box, but I think it comes with less than it used to. Not really sure. But that is out as well. For this new experience at Taco Bell, this new grilled cheese nacho fries experience. So all in all, they're, they're good. They're good, a little pricey. Um, I, I think beef might be the better buy, though I do like their cheap steak. With Taco Bell lids, don't tip it towards you. The lids don't sit on, like, they're not snug. It will, it will pour soda all over you. If you've been watching the channel, you've seen me do that. But I've learned, you gotta, you gotta go up and at it there. Um, yeah, uh, so, you know, now that I'm done talking about fries, uh, me, yeah, the, the tech thing, please, if you're interested, YouTube's weird. If you want to monetize a YouTube channel, you have to have, within the past year of time, you have to have, yeah, year, year of time, what the hell am I saying? Yeah, you have to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time within the past year to monetize. Um, with this channel, geez, it's been, good God, almost... Two, two years ago? When did I monetize this? Three years ago. Jeez, I don't... Yeah, 2020, right? Yeah, it was November. Is that when I got monetized? It was November of 2020 that I hit 1,000 subscribers. Um, but at the time, I didn't have the watch hours. I hit that pretty soon after, like very very soon after, but I didn't have the watch hours. Um, with this tech channel, I get tons of views on the videos I post, and I don't post a lot. I'm trying to pick that up. Tons of views. Like, people want to see tech things, new tech. That's popular, not this Taco Bell crap. Um, and I got all the views. I got all the hours, but I only have, like, 500 subscribers because there isn't really a, a theme to my channel so much. I don't know. There's nothing... I guess I don't know why anyone would subscribe. <laughs> so I can't monetize anything because I don't have the subscribers, but people keep clicking and watching. I'm just missing out on ad revenue. Mm. So if you can find it in your heart to go check that out, thank you, Poppy Tech. I showed you the logo, you know. Um, these are getting cold. We've only been here for what, like five minutes? I was talking to my friend about these before this. She doesn't want to try them. She said the nacho fries, by the time you get home with them, they're soggy and cold. And when you put more stuff on them, they're just going to be soggier and colder. And she's not wrong. Um, so you got to eat them at the store. I don't eat a Taco Bell. I do. I said, yeah, well, you know, if you're a loser like me, eating in your car, doing a stupid YouTube video, they're going to be nice and fresh. So, that was the case. They were getting cold. They were getting kind of crappy. So, the lesson here is these are good if you eat them fresh. Grilled cheese nacho fries. Steak. Taco Bell. Good stuff. Check out Pappy Tech. Thank you. Um, yeah. Good times. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go work. Yay. Yay work. My favorite. See you guys.